Hello, everybody. My name is Al DePaulo. I'm the Partner Products Manager over here at Bobcat. And today I wanted to take a quick look at tapping and uh, the way that Bobcat handles uh, creating taps and loading taps and loading pre-drills. So I have a sample file here of a part that I want to machine. Uh, just to begin with, I'm just going to uh, load up my machine and I'm going to uh, set my zero. Okay. You know, so that's that's fine, and I mean, I would have a couple of different uh, operations before I got into my tapping cycle, but uh, for now, I'm just going to look at uh, how to address my tapping cycle, okay? Now, to begin with, the software, if you come up to the main menu here and you go to your thread library, you'll notice that there are a bunch of uh, types of threads that are already loaded in here. Uh, different uh, different values you can modify these values as necessary but uh, you know as an example I'm just gonna create a new group my uh, group and we're gonna go ahead and create a, a tool in here so I'm gonna add a thread um, I'm gonna give my uh, thread or my tap a label so this is gonna be a UNC uh, quarter uh, 20 is what I'm gonna call it okay the nominal dynamic diameter is gonna be a quarter inch uh, the pitch is going to be 50, small diameter pitch is going to be 0, angle is going to be 0, and then the hole size that I want to pre-drill with is going to be a 201, sorry, uh, 201, and then uh, if I'm using a rolling tap, it's going to be a .227, okay? So now, not only have I set up my uh, tap, uh, and also set my pitch. I've also set my pre-drill tools and now I can use this when I go ahead and uh, uh, set up my tapping cycle. Okay, so from here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to prep some geometry so I'm going to uh, extract uh, edges from here. I can uh, I can pick off the surface model directly but I find it easier to uh, work with the wireframe for some some aspects. Okay. All right, let me, let me turn the grid off as well. Okay. And let me just change the color of this so that it's a little brighter. All right. So now when I come into my cam tree and I want to load my tap, I'm going to do a uh, mill tap hole, select geometry. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose pick and match by radius. And then I'm going to grab one of these holes and it will grab all of them. And then I'm going to space bar. Now, from here, this is where I pick uh, my thread type. I mean, it's also where I set my uh, depth, but uh, I'm going to pick my thread type here. And what you're going to have is all these different um, options in here. I'm going to go to my group, and we're going to see I have my quarter 20 here. So I'll go ahead and choose OK on that. I'm going to choose Next. Uh, from here, I want to pick my uh, top of job. So I'm going to come over and I'm going to grab my top of job and then from here I'm going to hit my bottom of job so I'm going to come down here and grab my bottom of job. Next. Now it's a tapping cycle. These are all the operations. I want a center drill. I want a drill. I'm going to remove the chamfer and then I'll, I'll that's fine. I'll go with that. You know I'll go to my center drill. I got a number five loaded in here. I'm going to change my um, center diameter to 0.26 um, I got my drill here. This has got its depth set up. I got my tap here, and uh, it's got his its parameters set up. And if you go over here, you can see feed per revolution is already set up. I'll go ahead and compute that. That's going to give me my tapping cycle. Uh, from here, I'm just going to post out my code. You know, and you can see first we get our uh, pre-drill. Alright, uh, now we got our uh, center drill here, so we're going to come down and chamfer. Then we come up, then we do our drill. We got our 201 like we defined. Uh, then we come back and then we have our G84. Uh, it looks like it's got some rigid tapping in here, but you could swap that out. And we got our feed right there. So that's that's the process that, that you go through to either load a tap or create your own tap. Uh, and pre-drill and to post that. Uh, if you guys have any feedback, please reply back to the thread uh, or the forum or the YouTube page. Thank you so much, guys.